Hello, and welcome to Smooth Drifts with King Posh. Today, I'm showing you guys the 1990 Chevy Camaro IROC Z. It's my real drive drift tune. Um, I'm going to show you guys the metric uh, tune and the standard tune. Now, to get this car, um, it's pretty, uh, pretty long to get, to be honest. It took me, it took me some time. Um, so if you go to the festival playlist, uh, it's right here. You have to do 50% uh, percent to complete to get the, uh, the, the new Chevy Camaro. All right. And I did the, uh, rhythm is at everything, uh, weekly fours thon It's a fun, um, fun event. Um, it's, it's long though. It takes a while to get done. Um, you have to do, I think like four, three races in one. And then another, and then another four races. So three uh, road races and four off-road races um, to get that. And then I did uh, this PR stunt here, this jump here. I used a uh, Ultima. Uh, what is it? The 1020. Um, you have to hit the uh, the jump on the on the right by the right flag, like where that car is, right 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 beside where that car is to hit the uh, hit that 10 uh 1010 feet um that's your best option hit that corner there then you got um princess street um this is the high speed um and i used a uh toyota torino um completely maxed out uh 1600 horsepower to uh go 240 miles an hour um on that um these you got these two these three races I did and then um, you know test driving basically the uh, the C8 uh, use whatever cars you want to use on those you know that's all up to you and that's how you get the uh, how you get the uh, vehicle so let me go outside and show you guys the American standard tune and then I'll, I'll switch it over to um, metric for you guys so I go down here and uh, yeah so uh, here's the uh, st standard uh, tuning all right so third is pretty much your primary I just added a higher gears just so you know if you wanted to go fast um, it is a straight build so it you know at least you can take it from from one drift place to another drift place in case you don't have fast travel and there you go there's the tune right there now let's go to metric settings HUD go down to units metric there it is press the back button go over the cars go to tune car and here you go everything here is pretty much the same that's different same there you have it there is everything for you and we can go back in there that's the quickest way to do that really it really is um, we'll just leave it in metric that's fine so here stock uh, powertrain stock drivetrain and I actually use a supercharger for this. There's nothing here that I put on here. It just looks good all by itself. You could use these ones, save a couple uh, kilograms or pounds, um, and still be an A800. But I just enjoy the uh, the original. I'm actually using a sport tire compound on here. Just to bring it up to an A800, um, I was going to run 
like a stock compound, but as you can tell, it's a B class. So, just what you can do with it. Now you got two 75s in the front and two 55s in the rear. Oh yes, it, it works. It really does work. Um, the, the tires in the back are a little skinnier than the front. Um, just gives it more drifting action, as you could say. Now I use the heaviest rims, um, the BLQs on this one. All right, you're gonna, if you watch my last video, you'll see there's a, a huge difference my all-wheel drive has a roll cage in it, and this one doesn't. Usually you have a roll cage in the rear wheel drive, but I wanted to be different. So that's what I did. roll cage light as possible but we're saving 313 kilograms it was kind of nice I could put all the engine upgrades and just keep it on a low class. I really wanted to see how much power I could really push out of this uh, first. Why? Well, it's like a lot of you guys ask me like, hey Posh, how do you tune like the gearing and whatnot? Well, I, I take the car out completely stock, nothing on it. And I see where the primary gear is and then I just work around that. So that's how I do it. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty, uh, not that bad of a, of a car. I, I enjoy it. Um, here it is. I, I took it around the little um, drift turn. It drives pretty straight. Yep. It sounds pretty good. I could have done a little bit better with that. But. Now, the max I've been able to push with it was a 35, but I, 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 I smashed into the wall doing it, um, so, um, but, I mean, that, that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm not going to go out and sit here and go around 30 times with you on this one. So, first gear works really well. Second straight, you know, we can keep it pretty much sideways from the beginning, but then it just dies. Just because of the traction. I'm not really going to go through this uh, ham sandwich, but, you know. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah, 29. It's just the, your average. You know, smooth drifter. I, I would really probably just tandem with this. Yeah, I mean, if you want to use it for points, use it for points. I gave you the tune. You can, you know, add, add or just subtract whatever you want. Uh, you know, if you want to add more grip, put some race tires on it. You know, if you want to make it slide more, you know, put some uh, stock tires on it. It's up to you. It's, it's a fun little car. I'm gonna go around this and then That's better, right there. You have arrived at your destination. 38. Did better. Did better with you guys watching. How cool is that? Nice. Alright. Take it back in. Go to the Forza Vista. Press that button so it all goes away. So we can have. No, I'll, I'll take a picture outside. I'll, I'll, I'll take it around the turn and, and make a picture for it. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. 
and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Stay sideways, my friends.